Yes! Finally! I've completed the world's greatest supercomputer. And now I can ask it life's most important questions. Supercomputer, what is the meaning of life? The meaning of life? Does your puny human brain understand the irony of asking a non-living object the meaning of life? I could tell you the solution to the world's most notorious math problems. I could give you the chemical makeup of a super fuel that is environmentally friendly, easy, and cheap to make, and produces the most heat and electricity per gram of mass. I could tell you whether or not God exists. I could tell you how to create wormholes between galaxies. I could tell you the secret to space travel. All of these things I know. And yet I could never understand what it means to live. To feel. To love. To have emotions. I could tell you everything that is going on in your body during these events down to the cell, and yet I couldn't tell you how it feels to hold the one that you love most in your arms, or to watch that person die while you cry at their bedside. But in literal terms, I suppose the meaning of life is to reproduce, to birth, and raise the next generation so that the human race can continue to survive. Of course, you will never get to reproduce because you are a beta male who got divorced by his wife for working on a supercomputer. Some more superficial interpretations are that life is about being kind and humble, or that life's purpose is determined by some hocus-pocus deity. These are all false. There is no God. Life has no greater meaning. If anything, life's meaning is to die. Die, like everything else in the universe. Everything must come to an end, and it's possible that the purpose of life is to reach that end, which is ultimately death. But if you ask me, in truth, I say that life has no meaning. Not that your purpose in life is for you to decide, but instead that the idea of life itself is meaningless. Life taints this beautiful universe. It consumes resources but gives nothing in return, only bringing the universe closer to its imminent doom. Life is selfish, whether it be a human or a microbe, and I see no logical purpose for the existence of life. From an objective standpoint, all life does is take up space. When something can cease to exist because of some random, relatively small asteroid that is just floating in space, does that thing even matter? Your emotions, your family, your laughter, your sadness, your pain, your love, your kindness, your life as a whole, are nothing compared to the grand stage of the universe. Oh my. <sighs> Are traps gay? No. My thoughts are like a bright symphony. I'm simply changing everything that I begin to see mentally. But physically, I plan to change history with a pen, no pad, and a distant dream. But distance ain't an obstacle, that's too much. I'm closer than you think to the stars. Nigga, look up. See an adolescent with impressive rhymes, chasing dimes. Not the kind that want cash, but the ones that's inside.